Hi guys, I'm Dianzo. I'm at my tomato farm, but that's an aside. Before the show begins, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications whenever I release new content. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin. Druidcraft is a mod for Minecraft 1.16 that adds various druidic themed items, blocks, and sets of armor to the game while also staying pretty vanilla. So, let's dive down into it. The Darkwood Forest is a verdant mega-taiga-like biome, and home to the Darkwood Tree, a robust tree with a darkly colored ashy wood. Interestingly enough, these trees also have a bush form, similar to jungle bushes. While not endemic to the Darkwood Forest, the beetle can still be found here. These tanky beetles are quite formidable, attacking similarly to spiders by jumping at the player, and lend further credence to my belief that beetles are actually the most dangerous creatures on this damned earth. Now, if you take on the task of taming the beetle, Bring some golden apples, not just for the beetle, but also for yourself, since beetles will still maw you even if you're trying to tame them. Once tamed, beetles function as a mount, offering a decent amount of speed, but sadly lacking any jump. They make up for this, however, with their obscene amount of storage on them! On death, these bugs will drop a few pieces of chitin, a new variety of material capable of being turned into its own set of armor along with the shield. Now, stat-wise, it's just short of diamonds, although aesthetically, it is far above these odd-tasting rocks. Alright, next thing. Druidcraft offers two varieties of berries. First are elderberries, which grow off their respective tree. These trees are short and taper at their base. When cut down, they will reveal their pale colored wood. Now, if you want to keep your tree up, you will be rewarded with elderberries and elder flowers. Every now and then, these elder flowers will crop up and can be harvested and turned into cordial. If you decide to leave them up, they will turn into elderberries, which can be crafted into a crumble. Come on, fall apart! But that's an aside, the second berry added in by Druidcraft is the Blueberry, a new, less aggressive variety of berry found in the plains and forest. Their alignment is lawful good. Also, they can be used in muffins. Up next is the Bone Armor and Tool Set. This set is not the most advanced, only offering chain slash stone great abilities with iron to durability, but what makes this rise above the rest is the fact that Bone Armor has high enchantability. Sickles are a new variety of tool made both for the field and for the Great Revolution, available in all materials except for netherite and chitin. Weapon-wise, they have a low attack damage but high attack speed. I'd say they're best for quick flurries of attacks to keep away your opponent. In the field, the sickles will clear a plot of grass with a tier of sickle determining how much grass will be cleared out. When you cut down grass, there will be a small chance of a hemp seed dropping. Hemp is a new crop capable of growing two blocks tall, and offers a way to acquire string without spiders. By putting three pieces of hemp in a line, you'll be able to create a rope, a climbable block similar to a ladder or vine. These can be tied to posts and lanterns. Druidcraft offers up several new building blocks, including large and small beams, panels, and mud brick, which are yet another variety of brown brick in my catalog. Now, interestingly enough, mud bricks can only be crafted in the water and must be placed out as a block in order to dry out. Dreadfish are a variety of undead found in icy biomes. They are surprisingly dangerous and can easily take down an unfortunate player. Should you take these living leftovers out, you may have a chance at acquiring some soul fire. A new variety of placeable and diable light block. Alternatively, if you happen to have any prismarine crystals on hand, you'll be able to tame the dreadfish and make them sit. I think? And even tie to your choice color. Phantoms are a practically universal issue, but with the dawn of bedrolls, phantoms will no longer be of concern. For you see, bed rolls will pass the night and get rid of any insomnia, however it will not change spawns, meaning that players all around will be able to live phantom free for the foreseeable future. Vexes are still worse. A moonstone is a new variety of ore found within the depths of the overworld. Stat-wise, it's a step above netherite, however it lacks any of the knockback resistance. It also comes with a nice shield. Druidcraft offers an ensemble of ores, those being fiery glass, amber, and rock root. Now, sadly, Amber and Rockroot are mostly inert, however, do offer a high XP if mined. Fiery Glass, however, can be smelted for an alright fuel, along with being able to be used to create a Fiery Torch, a new variety of Bright Torch that can be placed in root water. Lunar Moths are a new variety of glowing mob found within the plains of the overworld. Currently, they're mostly ambient, however, can be bottled and placed out as a nice decoration. Or dare I say... Crates are a new and revolutionary form of storage, for you see, instead of piling up like their predecessor known as the barrel, crates will instead combine, maxing out at an absolutely horrific 2x2. Two two. In addition, unlike similarly sized storage units, as of now, crates do not aggravate piglins when opened. Druidcraft offers a number of small miscellaneous items like lavender, a new variety of flower, ceramic lanterns, the growth lantern which causes plants and animals to grow around it faster, the wood cutter, which is like a stone cutter, except now it cuts cheeses. 
or what? In the travel bag, a novel form of inventory storage. Druidcraft has a few inert and work in progress items, like crushed and tempered fiery glass, brightstone, heart of blaze, blazing steel, Hellkin and its igniter, and a few others. And well, yes, the tab name did say no touchy. I did in fact look inside, since I'm quite the egregious lad, Volp. And as the cool kids say, cool dudes don't look at explo. Oh dear. The show's gotta come to an end, so if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications whenever I release new content. This is your host, Deontay.